welcome back. So um, we're going to start off with, uh, I was just going to show you some different sizes of tumblers and um, show you some different ways that we can use some of these. Uh, I, got a, I got this whole pack from North 80 and it was like a teacher pack and I have been kind of sitting on it going, what am I going to do with all these? And so I kind of wanted to show just some things that y'all could kind of get ready and and have to have ready for when um, you have someone call you up and say, hey, I need a teacher gift, or if you need some teacher gifts, this is just an easy way to kind of um, bang out some tumblers and, you know, have a couple of different little colors and little uh, themes that would maybe go with, you know, whichever teacher the kid has or whatever teacher the person is wanting to give a gift to. So I start off with taking all of the tumblers out and then I'll write on the top of the box what it is that um, we're doing, like teacher, you know, whatever it is, the theme wise. Um, and I am using a 17 ounce Craft Haven. It's like a, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like a coffee mug. It, it has a, a, like a spill proof lid to it. And um, the bottom is very straight, right? So um, I just am going to cut the bottom, you know, vinyl off there and just keep that as a really straight edge on the bottom so that we don't have to worry about finishing off that bottom. And I just did a wrap, the, the, uh, the pieces of this vinyl, they all came with these like half pieces that were just perfect for wraps. And so I thought, you know what, we'll, I'll do some wraps on these and um, I don't have to cut anything, you know, except for trim it up when I put it on there, but I don't have to cut anything for the tumbler itself. It's already cut and they're just kind of like convenient little set that it came in. And obviously I'm using my Cami Page Boutique tools today. I'm using my vinyl cutter here. Um, and like I said, this has a real sharp edge on the bottom. So I just kind of cut off that bottom edge and I'm going to treat it just like the lip of the tumbler, uh, just like the rim on the top. Um, I did take my, um, exacto knife and I did cut around each one of the vinyl parts because I just wanted to make sure that it had the straightest edge because I did not have my ultimate tumbler tool because it broke. So these are like the videos that I've had that I don't have it. And so you'll see me kind of struggling here trying to get things straight. But just so you know, I use it all the time and with it being broken and waiting for another one to get built, it was uh, it was a long wait. Anyways, I did end up, um, like I said, wrapping this on. This vinyl here, this particular one, and the one after this is extremely thick. That holographic is is real thick, so it, it took me a little while to kind of get everything um, cut and, you know, cut through as far as, like, the vinyl and using my X-Acto knife and everything. Um, it was... Uh, it was quite thick, so <laughs> just to be warned whenever you're doing these, that uh, this holographic stuff is uh, no joke, and you got to kind of have a strong hand. Once again, using the vinyl cutter, had to go over this several times because of the thickness. Um, I did take my exacto um, knife and just kind of went along the edge of the top there, so that I could have the straightest edge. On the top as I possibly could so um, I did I did this line and then I took that off and then I was like no I still want just a little bit more uh, space so I ended up going back over it and cutting it again and uh, cutting just a little bit more off of there to give me a little bit more room for glitter I did want to show you all this because I did take my uh, vinyl scraper there and I really pushed down uh, because it was a real rounded edge um, and it wasn't so straight as like the other one. And so I just wanted to make sure that that vinyl was getting pushed down and we weren't going to have any lifting on the bottom there. And I do the same thing here. Um, I kind of put it up a little bit higher only so I wouldn't have to cut so much off of the bottom but um this once again is very thick and so it was a little bit harder to you know maneuver with the vinyl cutter and with 
the cutting of it on the top there. But I did uh, manage to get it trimmed, you know, uh, down the middle of the back there. But I did have an issue with it being, um, with it kind of getting stuck, like the underneath part of the vinyl was kind of stuck underneath. And so I had to eventually had to stick my whole um, X-Acto knife underneath and just kind of pry it off of that bottom part just so that it wouldn't be so thick. Um, if it was like a thin vinyl, I probably wouldn't have worried about it too much, but this was so thick that I wanted to make sure that I got that, you know, piece underneath off of there. And it was quite a chore but anyways I got it off there eventually and then I ended up cutting um, off some of the top there uh, you know because obviously it was a little bit too long and I wanted to have more room for glitter using my Cami Page Boutique um, vinyl cutter again um, using that to cut the bottom I had to do it several different times because of the thickness of this and then I just went um, back over with my squeegee again and just really push that down so that I we could try to avoid as much lifting as possible on that bottom rim so this pack that I got from North 80 had a ton of teacher decals and so I kind of just went through and uh, pulled out all of the different ones and was just kind of looking at the different you know looks of each one and I didn't these were like a little too wide for that I wanted something to kind of fill the space a little bit more and uh, so I found the one that matches that particular vinyl and then I thought okay I'll do like three different styles right so the teacher one and then the do the rainbow look and so that's how I kind of came up with the these three particular ones just because they were different so I got this whole set of Rainbow Burst Collection from the Sugar Spice Glitter Co. And I, I'm i in love with it. I have already made um, these three tumblers with them and I made another one. Um, I definitely will be using these in the future because they are just so cool, vibrant, neon. Um, and I just thought that the kind of the way that, that these are kind of made up, I just... They kind of gave me like a 90s feel and I felt like um, doing like a bright neon and kind of mixing up the colors and things would be would be appropriate. I think, you know, most of the teachers are in that um, age range, you know, and so I thought, you know, you do a several different colors and then you have the different ones set up, you know, like, hey, if somebody needs a, a teacher gift, you can post it on your group or on your page or on your Instagram and say, hey, I've got three teacher gifts ready to go. I, they can be personalized. You know, you could just put a little monogram on the back or a K or whatever, you know, for just their name or Mrs. So-and-so or whatever. But, um, or you could just sell them just like this and then they'll be done. You could add on another five dollars for the personalization or you could just sell them at the you know price that you want to sell them at so as you can see there I took um, just some basic acrylic paint and I painted the um, top part there I did put some painter tape painters tape on the vinyl so that we could avoid getting um, any paint or glue or glitter or whatever on that you know area there um so i just went through with whatever paint i had i did a pink for the purple but i was like whatever it kind of has this pink kind of shift to it so i thought it would be fine um i did take glitter glue after that after i painted it and um, i just kind of dabbed it on there on some of them because i've been having a problem with it kind of scraping up my paint i'm not exactly sure why it does that but I thought this would be the best way to do it because we were, um, because I've been, I didn't do, I wasn't doing any cups at that point, I don't think, so I didn't have any epoxy, so it was like, okay, I'll just use the uh, glitter glue, but I, this is not my favorite application, um, I know there's a lot of people that do love it, but it's not my favorite as far as, um, applying the glitter I think epoxy does a much better job, but in this sense where if I didn't have any epoxy mix, this is easy, just, easy, just as easy for me to do. But I did end up having to go back over each one of these and uh, 
cover them again with glitter. So she does have a small uh, fine cut of the um, of that green that vibrant green that's that was there so i just used that to kind of fill in wherever i needed to it does have a really nice sparkle to it so i thought it would it would be great for this um, and then i went in with this is so this is where i just started tapping the glitter glue on there because spreading it out it just kind of tears off it, it was still doing it i could tell it's still doing it on there so i was trying to be as careful as possible so, um, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why, uh, who knows, I'm sure it's something I'm doing, but anyways, so I did paint this kind of that fuchsia color and then I went over it with the, um, the grape burst. I did in, end up having to just take the lid off and just kind of dump it on there. And then I went in with grape aid afterwards and really filled in all that, um, I don't necessarily think that they're the same cut or same I mean they're not the same cut obviously but they're not the same color but I thought that it it I thought it matched really well and I thought it would be perfect for uh, you know just kind of adding in any kind of spots that I needed and once again I'm going in with a, another color from that rainbow burst collection this is the blue one and um, just I just love that it has just a tinge of purple and kind of pink to it um, it's very magical. Uh, I ended up using Blue Sky or Tinkerbell. Uh, from, Tinkerbell is from uh, Peachy Olive Glitters. And it is not from Spice Glitter, uh, Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. But I thought that it would um, give us a real nice, it has kind of a purpley pinky tinge. And I thought it would fill in wherever we needed to on this. I did immediately go through and take off all of the tape because, you know, we don't want the glue or the paint or anything to dry on uh, with that paint, you know, still on it or whatever and uh, get it messed up on, or, you know, rip off half of the the uh, glitter whenever we, whenever it dries, you know, you just want to make sure you do that while it's still wet. And I definitely would advise rolling this in some parchment paper or, you know, paper or some scrapbook paper or whatever you have on hand because it will definitely help with the amount of epoxy and just the shards of glitter that will stick up and just, it just helps it kind of give a cleaner look. So once again, we're gonna go in and tape off our uh, vinyl areas there. Uh, we're just gonna do one little piece of tape right at the top. And we're gonna go back in with a coat of the Crystal Light Glitter Glue and we are going to fill in, you know, just do like a double coat of this glitter because it definitely needed just that extra oomph of glitter. And so I thought, uh, definitely going to go in some of the paint was kind of skippy here and there and so i just thought we're just going to go through and redo all of them so like i said once all that dried i taped everything back off and then we went in with another coat of glitter um, i did put a coat of the crystal light glitter glue over just right over the glitter that's already there and there's nothing to you know you you don't have to worry about that you just put it right over the glitter um, you could either seal it in this way or you can add more glitter and that's exactly what I did so I just went through with each one of these and added some more glitter I actually used the you know the one the the, the finer cuts as well to fill in so I just went back over and did everything I also used the parchment paper to roll them and get them as flat as possible so that we could be ready for those coats of epoxy so same exact thing we did in the beginning we just now used uh, some more glue more glitter and just made them a little more vibrant So I decided to see about using this outdoor coat, this this final, this uh, 
protective coat or whatever it is. Um, I got it off of uh, Amazon and I'm sure it's probably available Hobby Lobby or something like that. Uh, but I went ahead and I was like, okay, I'm going to go through and cover, I'm going to protect the vinyl and then I'm going to see how it works on the glitter because I wasn't sure if it would give me a real nice cover of the glitter, real nice protection for the glitter. And so I went in first and did all the vinyl on all of the tumblers and then I went in with um, the then I went in and did all of the uh, glitter on the tops but I did start off with the lighter color one <laughs> because that's what I, would, I didn't want to get purple or blue in this I thought that the, if I was to get a little bit of green uh, from my paintbrush or whatever in the others that um, you know it would be okay anyways so that's that's just kind of the way the the way that I did it just to maybe prevent but I really did like the way that this coat um the way that this coated these um I I didn't have very much glitter movement which was really nice um I was able to put it over the vinyl and it didn't affect it in any way um so I don't know I I was using this for a little while to cover up my decals and then for some reason it didn't go right or something and so I went ahead and just thought I'll just use it for this and see what happens so I really like it I'll definitely link it down below for you and um, you know hopefully it'll work for you I did make sure that I cleaned off that bottom part because I didn't want any of that to come over the edge and uh, cause any problems or uh, you know anything like that so I went in with coats of epoxy so first of all I was going to do the vinyl first and then was going to go and do the glitter part so that we would not have any glitter movement into any of the vinyl. But um, this was like the first of a couple of coats of epoxy. And um, as you can see, I didn't take it all the way down over. I was leaving the bottom part you know exposed because I just figured you know their teachers are going to be slamming that cup around and moving it everywhere um I thought you know what don't finish off the bottom and then that way um, you know it'll be a little bit softer on the bottom part and then if you do if you carry the whole design to the bottom uh you know and around the bottom of the tumbler so like I said I just put several coats of epoxy avoiding the the bottom part um, and um, just sealing in all of that glitter and then doing a little bit of sanding and then going in to our decals. And like I said, um, I have these decals that I got from North 80 um, and I decided that I was like, okay, I'm going to use the purple with the rainbow. I'm going to use this one because the vinyl cut matches the vinyl that is on the tumbler. And so I just kind of picked you know different looks and different styles for each one because like I said I kind of wanted to have that 90s feel with those bright colors and just like the mix of patterns and different things so anyways I went in and did some sanding on all of them this you you can sand because there's no clear outline or clear backing or anything like that so you can um, you can definitely you know sand all the way through this and just stick these decals right on top and after I do a good sanding like this I take them all to my sink and give them a good wash so I was a dodo here and put a um, transfer sheet on top of a transfer sheet <laughs> this one actually already had the transfer sheet on there um, so anyways um, don't be like me okay so i uh, i made sure that we were on the back side you know or the front side whatever you want to call it and um i really love the way this one looked because i loved the decal and the way that it matched the uh, the vinyl it just really gave it a complete look you see here i'm there's a there's already <laughs> did not need a anyways we all make those kinds of mistakes, right? So I did pop any bubbles if I needed to. I did try to, to pop them right on their little black lines. So just to kind of avoid any of the, um, you know, bubble mark, you know, those popping marks that you get. 
This one I thought it kind of matched the, um, the composition look with the teacher, all the letters in there, and then all the letters that are on the bottom there. Um, you know, it looked, they, they kind of matched in their design. And so I thought those two would go good. And then they're just, I could add a different color here. Um, you know, no big deal because I've got silver and silver. So I just thought, you know, we could just add a fun little, you know, design of vinyl on the, where we do the little, you know, pinstriping. Also, the other reason that I really liked these big decals was because they were going to cover up a lot of this you know, really tall tumbler. And so that was another reason why I really wanted to, to kind of keep them all the same in the sense, or the two big ones that they had this big decal that really took up, you know, a lot of that space just to kind of give it a real nice, you know, full design. These were also available in that um, North 80 combination of all the teacher stuff and so I thought this would be fun to kind of mix the colors right so I was I was using um, you know the letters to kind of match the letters and I was using the checkered to match the checkered but I just um, took my cutter there and just cut them I didn't want to pull out my Cricut and do all that um, these were this is some matte holographic stuff that I have that I really like and I just used that some stuff that I already had in the drawer and just use that since it was really a small thinner cup I thought that these thin silver holographic pinstripes will work perfect I didn't want since the the pattern was already very full of design I didn't want to have anything too distracting from that so I thought just a nice clear just a nice silver holographic would be uh, you know just what we needed <laughs> So here I had um, the checkered. It was like a purpley blue, pinky kind of tie-dye look to it. And I just thought that they would, it would go good with that, uh, you know, the black and silver checker. And so I just cut them at like whatever the amount that I thought was decent, a decent cut, um, you know, and I just used that for the pinstripe. On the top and the bottom and I just thought it was fun to really add in some different kinds of colors and I don't know just be a little like a little 80s you know is what I thought a little 90s maybe is more of what, it, what it's like but I thought the green with the letters on there would be kind of cute to add with this blue and um, anyways I hope you like it as much as I do but I really liked the way that they all kind of were just like a fun little tumbler so I did go in and seal them with that um, outdoor coating stuff that I used in the beginning to cover up the glitter and um, it seemed to work just fine. Um, that's what I was using it for in the beginning and I don't I don't know what happened but somehow I just didn't want to use it or it didn't work right or something but um, but it has it's definitely worked well for me here. I did trim I mean trim I did um, sand the edges on the top and I sanded the edges on the bottom so that we could get a really nice good seal on both ends so that we weren't you know we didn't have any problems I took it outside and I used my Dremel and then I used my you know uh sanding block <laughs> I used my sanding block for like the bottom part of this one especially treated it just like the rim of the tumbler and then these I just sanded real lightly on the bottom I didn't want to mess up that clean cool bottom that we had and here they are so cute I love the holographic I think it's just so much fun and they would be so perfect to just have ready to go you can just ask what color. You can post them on your page. You post them on your Instagram. Post them on your Etsy. And just say ready to go. They're just ready to sell. Ready to ship. Whatever. And uh, you know. If somebody likes purple. Somebody likes blue. Somebody likes green. There's always you know. Those types. Or you can do. do you can do different colors. Or do like a rainbow. Or whatever. But anyways. Um, I really hope that you love these. I hope that they are inspiring. And um, I hope that. You get some sales over Christmas. Maybe you'll get some different types of sales when you do one of these. But anyways, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, please join my Facebook group. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and comment. Anyways, see you next time.